what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we got ourselves a dope little off meta team for you guys that's rocking dialga shadow rider calyrex and azumarill you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. Seriously, huge shout out to every one of my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But like I said, a little bit of an off meta team with the Azumarill and the uh, the Landers with its different form. I forget what the form's real name is, but it's obviously not the normal form with Intimidate and all that stuff. So we're going to have some fun with this team and try to look to get some wins. But uh, let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Regilecki for the team preview. We got Transistor alongside with the Magnet as its item and ability. Rocking out with Wild Charge, Bounce for a coverage move and the dodge some moves alongside with E-Web for speed control and Protect for a fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be top tier Shadow Rider Calyx right here. One of the best restricted mods to use in Series 12. It's got the Ash 1 ability. Rocking out with the Focus Ash as well, which I believe is the best item for this Pokemon. We got Astro Barrage. We're rocking will o -Wisp for burns. We got Snarls for special attack drops. And last but not least, we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Third Pokemon is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be the one and only Dialga, the Diamond Legendary. Super, super good in Trick Room, and it is rocking Trick Room as one of its moves, which is amazing. We got Steel and Dragon type with Pressure, Safety Goggles as item and ability, and then Flash Cannon, Roar Time, both for Stab, and our only coverage move is going to be Earth Power. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Azumarill. The reason I picked this squad, Azumarill over here, I love this Pokemon so much. Huge power as its ability, it doubles its attack stat, which is amazing. Alongside with that, Assault Fest as an item makes it a bit more bulkier up against special attackers. We got Liquidation for stab damage. We got Aqua Jet for first turn priority. Play Rough for a different stab type move damage, fairy move. And then Steel Roller for our coverage move. And it turns into Max Steel Spike when Dynamax. So really, really good. I really do like this Pokemon. Hopefully we get to showcase it and Dynamax it and grab some wins. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Incineroar. I'm done talking about him. We're done with him. That's it. It's Incineroar. Normal move set, normal item, normal ability. If you guys want to see it, it's right there. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be this Landis over here. Sheer Force and Life Orb. Really, really strong Pokemon. Really good in Dynamax form. Probably going to be using him a lot and getting after the battle with him. He's Ground and Flying with Earth Power, Stone Edge for coverage, Grass Knot for coverage, and last but not least, he's Rock and Protect. Like I said, really good Pokemon in Dynamax, so we'll probably be Dynamaxing him a good bit in today's video. But guys, there it is. There's the team preview. If you guys want to write this code for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Azumarill team. First battle coming at you guys, and I'm kind of a little bit scared. This guy has a live part first stage, probably with Evo Light, and I do not know what it does. So we're going to be dealing with that, and we're going to be playing as it goes. But uh, he's rocking Shadow Rider Calyx and Zassian team with that live part first stage. And then alongside with Regilecki, Kartana, and last but not least, Storm Drain Gastron, which I really do not see him bringing in, considering we're not rocking Kyogre. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like leading maybe like Incineroar could be solid. We can fake out and kind of get a little bit of control that way. And plus, we get an Intimidate drop. I do like that. Let's go here, and then I kind of want to go maybe into a Trick Room. It's a rather fast team. He has a rather fast team, so Trick Room could work really, really well. And then I want to bring in either Azumarill or Sheer Force. Oh, yo, this thing's shiny. This thing's gorgeous. But yeah, we're going to bring in Azumarill due to speed being low, and we're going to pop a Trick Room. And then we're going to bring a Shadow Rider Calyx in the back end. But yo, shiny Azumarill? Bro, solid gold. What is that thing? A bunny mouse? What? Is, what is that? I think it's like a mouse Pokemon. Yeah, it's like a mouse bunny kind of thing. Really, really cool Pokemon, but yo, it's gold. It is looks phenomenal. I love it, shiny thing. But yo, before we actually hop into battle number one, let me know for question of the day, what game do you guys want to see have a full remake? Any game, not just Pokemon, any Nintendo game, any game that you guys th can think of that you want a full remake of. Let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, this Pokemon comes out here. I totally forget his name. Alongside Red Slack. So I can pop a free Trick Room, and I can fake out here as well. So I'm going to fake out the uh, the live part first stage and kind of just like go from there. Right? Definitely my play. Intimidate comes out here, and we drop some pressure. When we drop, actually, can this thing be inner focus? Does this thing learn inner focus? I feel like it might. I feel like it might, but I'm still just gonna fake it out. I'm still just gonna fake it out and pop a trick room. That's my plan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna end up with strong. Okay, I'm cool with that. That's totally fine. We're gonna be able to pop a free trick room. And who's he gonna go into here? He's gonna go into Gaston. That's fine. That's just gonna come out here, and he's gonna Dynamax Regilecki. Like I'm totally fine. Thank you very much. We'll take that all day. So we'll take that all day. He's not gonna be able to take out whatever Pokemon I have on the field. There's no way he's able to take out my Dialga with a with an electric. Watch, he's gonna just dump on my Dialga now. I'm gonna be very upset. But still, no, we should be fine here. We should be able to thrive out here and get some work done. 
So we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what he wants to do. Fake out's gonna go. Yo. Just chip up a little damage on the Gashon. And he ended up bringing that Gashon, which is very surprising. He's gonna drop Max Lightning on Incineroar. Incineroar says, yo, that's a tasty snack. And survives on 13 HP. We love it. Our Trick Room's out and about. Our Trick Room is coming in hot. So solid turn for us. Really, really solid turn for us. A uh, Gashon could take us out. But I'm gonna try to party shot and dip. Oh, I forgot about my berry. I forgot about my berry. That's what happens when I don't go over to team preview with Incineroar. I don't know what item we have. So we have the Citrus Berry, which works wonders. Which works wonders, and now we can go into the Trick Room and kind of roll off from here. Um, I could hard swap Incineroar, which I'm thinking of doing because he's probably gonna just drop a water move into my Incineroar and take me out. And then I could die. I could totally Dynamax. I could totally Dynamax and hard swap into maybe like a Zoomerel. Oh, what's my play? What's my play? Yeah, swap into a Zoomerel, save my Incineroar for the back end. Yeah, we have that Assault Fest, and then we can just go here, Dynamax, and go into Max Quake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. We're going to hard swap him. We don't want him dying to a Scald or another power from that gas run. Just not dealing with it. Just not dealing with it. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it one bit. We got to remember this thing's Storm Drain. Do not want to go into water moves against it, but special or special defense boost is going to be huge. We already have a Soul Fest on the Zoomerel. Another special defense boost is going to be lovely. We can kind of just roll off from there. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We choose to Dynamax this boy. I kind of want to Dynamax the Zoomerel, but in the situation that we were at, I was just like, the Alga's a great little Dynamax right now. Let's roll, out, let's roll out into it. Let's see what he does from here. He's just going to guard. He's going to block a shot. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. I'm cool with that. And this thing's going to drop an Earth Power. So like I said, we didn't want to die to that. That's fine. My boy's going to be able to soak that up, and we'll get Thriving from here. We shall get Thriving. But I wonder who we can swap into that can, uh, that can dodge this Max Quake. So let me actually look at his Pokemon and just see what's Thriving out here. We can go from there. We could definitely go from there. Let's see. Let's see who he's rocking with. So let's go into Pokemon. Um, he doesn't really have anybody who can dodge this. He might have brought Kartana in the back, but I really don't see him bringing Kartana. I think he has Shadow Rider Calyx and his Zacian, so I think it's just like a free play just for us to go straight into this Max Quake yet again. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I probably should have doubled down on Regilecki. I probably should have doubled down into that Regilecki because then he could just drop an electric move into me. If he eats up this Max Quake, which he definitely could. He definitely could. But he ends up withdrawing. Okay. Is it going to be Kartana? Yo, I swear. If he brings out Kartana, I'm going to be surprised. Is that be, I'll be 0 for 2 on guessing what Pokemon he is. Oh, it's going to be a slide part thing. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. That's fine by me. This thing's going to end up Earth Powering. That's totally fine. The Zoom Rally is just soaking up. Oh, was that a crit? That did a lot more than it normally does. Why did it do so much? Play Rough comes through. Yo, we got huge power. And we're chipping up some damage, which is lovely. And more importantly, we're getting this special special defense boost here. We love it. We love it. I totally forget about this Pokemon right here. And we just dumped on this. We know he has Regilecki. We know he has Regilecki. Special defense boost out and about. I'm not worried about Regilecki. I really am not. I really am not. I still have Incineroar in the back. I still have Zacian in the back. Not Zacian. No, Shadow Rider Calyx in the back. And we're looking pretty good here. Because another play rough should be able to take out that Storm Green. Should be able to take out that Storm Green. Well, let's see who he shows here. Let's see who he goes into. Is he going to show his final Pokemon? I think he might. Let's see. It's going to be Calyx. So Calyx comes in here. And Calyx might definitely protect. But Special Defense Boost is going to be where it's at. Special Defense Boost is 100% where it's at. We're going to drop a Max Quake into that thing. And we're just going to go into here. Right? That's our play all day. 100% our play. 100% our play. And he just canceled the battle. Yo, let's go. Taking control of that battle. Setting the Trick Room with the Alga. And setting out a... a us up for victory we're versing some very cool teams today second battle coming at you guys we dominated that first battle played it perfectly and grabbed ourselves a win but like i said we're hopping into our second battle and we're going up against a series 12 dragonite team i love it let's get after it. he also has zamazetta kai ogre chrysalia indeedy and g max lapis all right jeans you got this one let's rock out let's get after it pokemon i definitely want to bring gotta be reg like here gotta bring Regilecki, right? He's got the Lapras alongside with the Kyogre. It's an absolute must to bring that Pokemon. So we're gonna lead the Regilecki. We're gonna get Thriving with that. He could pop a Trick Room, obviously, with that Cresselia. But if he does, you know, we'll just bring, like, a Zoomerel or something in the back. But I'm kind of leaning towards just, like, a Shadow Rider Calyx lead. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It's feeling pretty good. I dig it a lot. We can Snarl Drop. We can do, we can do a decent amount here. We can do a decent amount. So I'm gonna go in with them, too. He might lead Indeedee. Uh, I kind of want to bring Dialga, just in case he wants to pop Trick Room. And then a Zoomerel, or do I bring Sheer Force? I think a Zoomerel is going to be a little bit better. With that Assault Fest, yeah. 
we're kind of going in with same squad. Just swap it out and sit more for Reg Lucky. We're going to get one one out from here. So we got their fast boys in the front. And we got our slow guys in the back. If he wants to pop Trick Room, he can pop Trick Room. If I want to pop Trick Room later, I can pop Trick Room with that Dialga. So I'm really liking it. But yeah, that first battle, we kind of just took control of that. Right after he swapped that live part first stage, I don't even know that thing's name. I don't know. I just don't know its name. I don't know why. It's drawing a blank. But uh, right, right when he swapped it, it was just like, yo, free Trick Room. We're ready to roll. And we set that thing up and we were gone after that. Dynamax or Dialga got our Zoomerel in there. Zoomerel was chipping up. We had Assault Vest and Special Defense Boost thriving. We were gone. We were gone. But he ends up leading the Lapras alongside with Zamazeta, which psh, I do not mind. I do not mind. Zamazeta is going to get Defense Boost. We got two special attackers on the field. Two special attackers on the field, which is huge. Um, I could burn Zamazeta. Turn one. I really could. I could go into an E Web or a Wild Charge. I think I'm just going to drop a Wild Charge here. And I'm just going to burn. I think I'm just going to burn, right? Burn sounds good. A burn does sound good on a Zamazetta. I'm going to burn Zamazetta. Let's see if he Dynamaxes. He is going to end up Dynamaxing. I do not mind it. I do not mind it. Yo, we got Magnet. Wild Charge can do some decent damage. I was actually thinking of Dynamax and Regilecki here. That probably would have been a great play. That would have been a lovely play. But we're going to Wild Charge. We're going to be able to get off the shot. We're going to be thriving. We really don't need Speed Control right now because I have two very, very fast Pokemon out on the field. I'm cool with this. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up Wide Guard. That's totally fine. We're not E Webbing. We're not E Webbing or we're not Astral Barrage. So that's a waste of a turn from him. Wild Charge coming in hot. Big old damage. We'll take some recoil damage. And as long as this, uh, this Lapras does not take out my, uh, as long as this Lapras does not take out my Regilecki, we could KO it next turn, which would be gorgeous. But I do think he's coming after my Regilecki here, right? He's not weak this policy, and the Resonance is going to fly here. He going after. He goes after Regilecki. So Regilecki's going to drop out here. That's a fine turn. <gasps> Regilecki eats. That's an even better turn. That's an even better turn. But the Roar Veil is back out and about. So... So with that said, kind of upset because now my wild charge cannot KO that thing. <laughs> but we do have a burn on the Zamazetta, which is just gorgeous. And do we see this thing wide guarding? Maybe? Probably? So I'm just going to go into a wild charge and then do I just Astral Brush? I'm just going to Astral Brush. We think he's going to go into another wide guard? I don't think he will. I don't know. Tough call. I doubt he wasted another turn with a wide guard, knowing that I just outplayed him there. Yeah, see, he's not doing it. So Wild Charge comes through here. Astro Barrage is going to come next, and maybe Astro Barrage can take out this Lapras. That could be a huge turn for us. This could be a huge turn for us. But we're going to drop this Astro Barrage. Yeah, he send it that way, and we do not take out the Lapras, so I think we might die here. Coaching comes out. Actually, no, we're fine. We're thriving here. He's going to coach, get that attack boost alongside with defense, and that's fine. Max Quake's going to fly through here, and we can take it out next turn with Astro Barrage. But yeah, I'm going to pop a Trick Room now. I'm going to go into Astro Barrage. Actually, he might Wide Guard. Son of a biscuit. Is he going to wide guard here? It's tough. That's tough. Is he, is he going to wide guard now? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I hate this game. But I think I just pop a trick room. If he wide guard, if he wide guards, he wide guards. It's fine. I just think it's fine to go into the album and pop a trick room. 100% our play. Again, if he wants to wide guard, he can wide guard. No big deal. It's no big deal. I could protect this turn and just have him wide guard. But if he, again, if he wide guards, he wide guards. It's not a big deal for me. It's not a big deal at all. So I'm just gonna go in. There. I'm just gonna go into another Astro Barrage. See what he does. Yeah, no, I don't mind if he wide guards. It's just waste of turn with Thomas at it, and it allows my uh, it allows my Trick Room to come out here, which is gonna be huge. So he does wide guard. He does wide guard. I was gonna read it, but it's, again, it's it's not a big deal for me. It's not a big deal for me. Astro Barrage can get blocked. That's totally fine. And what's he gonna go into from here? Take out my Chatter Rider. Fine. It's just gonna go into a max quake, and that's gonna go after Dialga. I'm cool with that because Dialga can soak that up all day. Dialga can soak that up all day. So Dialga soaks that up. We get Trick Room out and about, and uh, I'm not gonna Dynamax. I am not going to Dynamax. I'm not going to Dynamax my Dialga. I'm gonna save my Dynamax for my Azumarill. Give us a shot here. So Trick Room's out and about. Let's get the Rive in here. And do, what do I go into from here? Another Astro Barrage. Kind of leaning towards it. I'm kind of leaning towards the Astro Barrage. Might as well, right? Might as well. Because Lapras Dynamax is over. We can take him out in one shot if Astro Barrage can land. And then we're just going to try to chip off on this uh, Zamazeta here. The nice, lovely little Earth Power. So, yeah, we'll go into Earth Power from here. And we'll go for an Astro Barrage. Might play 100%. Let's see what he does. Because if he wide guards, he can only take out one of my Pokemon. Which, if he takes out the other, that could be tough. But I, I don't know if he's going to wide guard again. That would be a great, great play by him. He goes for a Drill Run. Drill Run straight there. Can you eat that? 
Let's go, Dialga. I love you. And no wide guard comes out here. That's huge. Earth power is going to fly. Should be able to take him out, right? Get him out of my face. No, not. Oh, I forgot about the special defense boosts that are going crazy. This thing's going for close combat. And he's going to double down the outlet. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Now, this should come out here, potentially pick up maybe a double kill. And then we come in with the zoom around Dynamax and try to try to get rolling with this battle. Because Shrikram's out. We played it slow, this battle. We played it slow. That's Shabraj out and about. Can we take out the Lapras at least? We do get rid of the Lapras. That's huge. The Lapras goes down here. I might just protect my, uh, my what's called this turn. My Calyrex. But we have to come in here with my boy Azumarill. Get that Dynamax rolling. And remember, Trick Room's out. We're a slow little Azumarill. And we have that Assault Best. So let's get rolling here. This battle is definitely, definitely going to be close. Definitely going to be close. Yeah, I'm really not too worried about that Zamazeta too much. It's burned. It's just going to slowly chip away and die. And we're just going to go from here. And he's going to pull out this thing. That's gorgeous for us. We can just drop a nice little uh, Max Starfall and get rolling from there. Love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Zoom out. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Starfall's coming in hot. And we'll roll into a Protect, like I said. We're going to protect this little, this little booger. It's a little booger. Because this Pokemon can come up big if we can uh, keep him alive for when Trick Room ends. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll have all of our Dynamax in Trick Room, which is big. That's big news. There's two turns. Thomas said it's going to go down to a burn. Um, Dragonite might protect here. But I feel like we're, we're sitting in such a good position with this gold Azumarill. Like, yo, there's no, like, this is a top tier shiny. Top 10 shiny. Top tier, top 10, whatever you guys want to say. It, it's up there. It's up there. Azumarill is a, has a banger of a shiny. A banger of a shiny. I protect my Shadow Rider Calyrex. Hopefully he's not protecting that Dragonite. That could be good for us. And he goes for a Wide Guard. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I'm, with that. I'm, not, I'm not using anything. So you're just wasting turns with Zamazetta. Extreme Speed comes out here. And what what is that? What what what's happened? Oh, normal gem. He's normal gem with extreme speed. Okay, that's a little weird, but now you're dead. Get out my game. <laughs> Get out my game, Dragonite. No, he's not that multi scale. We got about a good old multi scale. Doesn't be dirty. Multi scale coming in hot. Uh, what do we think he's gonna do here? We could go into another. We could go into an Astro Rush here, but yeah, we're just slowly chipping. Slowly chipping. One more burn turn takes him out. I really like Burson and a Warbell. I forgot about a Warbell. Warbell finally wears off. And we'll go into this. And we'll just go into an Astro Barrage here. It's fine. It'll be like that. So I'm it goes down next turn. If he doesn't protect Dragonite, Dragonite dies. And then we get off one more turn of Dynamax up against whatever Pokemon he has. But Trick Room's going to be kind of close. I wish I I'm, I wish I wish probably would have went into a double protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because we definitely need this. Uh, We might need this. Uh, this Calyrex here. But Azumarill goes first. We take out Dragonite. This battle's going to be so close. This battle's going to be so close. So, so close. And he's going to go into, what, a Behemoth Bash? Go into Azumarill, please. Go into Azumarill. Go into Azumarill. Because I know Azumarill can soak this up. It's got to go into Azumarill. He's Dynamax. Let's go. Cool. cool. Goes into Azumarill. Azumarill soaks this up all day. And we are sitting so pretty. We are sitting so pretty. We played the late game perfectly. Astro Barrage is going to come out here. Clean up this Amazetta. He has one Pokemon left. And we're thriving. Because I gotta check the Trick Room turns. If it has one turn left, I'm just gonna protect my Calyrex, leave him alive for when Trick Room ends, because we know we're gonna be able to outspeed. And if we have two turns left, I'm just gonna start sending my Azumarill, because Azumarill is an absolute menace. An absolute menace. But big time KO there. Shadow Rider Calyrex is now sitting at plus two. And he's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, which is gonna be Kyogre. We do not mind Kyogre. We do not mind it. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Unless it's Choice Scarf. It might be. How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. That could be tough. That could be tough. But uh, do we go into Starfall? We have to go into Starfall. Get off as much damage as we possibly can. And I'm just going to protect this turn. I'm just going to protect this turn. Protect this lovely little Pokemon. So Protect comes out here. And we'll get Thriving. We will get Thriving. Starfall comes out here and he does protect. He's got to be Choice. He's got to be Choice and that's kind of scary. This pops out here. And the Zoom Rail brings it down to one. I do have Aqua Jet. I do have Aqua Jet, which is good. And this thing's Rock and Surf, yo. What is up with this guy's move set today? What is this guy's move set today? I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. He's extreme speed with the Dragonite with a normal gem. Like, this is Master Tier. This is weird. This is weird. But, hey, we take these wins all day. We're going to go back to back here. And we're going to look for yet another perfect record for the Jeans videos. Because last video, we grabbed ourselves a perfect record. But Aqua Jet flies through here. Now, you send it. And the Zoom Rail's coming up clutch, yo. The Zoom Rail OP in Sword and Shield. Just been loving this Pokemon. 
Can your boy do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can Jeans grab yourselves back-to-back -back perfect records? I hope so. We're going up against a uh, double starter team right here with Venusaur, Charizard, alongside with Kyogre. This is a little weird. A little weird. I'm guessing the Whimscott is running Sunny Day because of that, because he has two Sun Pokemon with Kyogre on his team. Right? Whimscott's got to be rocking Sunny Day. He also has the Zacian and it, then Indeedee for support. So how are we rolling out with this one? How are we going to get thriving? I feel like my Sheer Force guy... Has got to come in here. We should go Sheer Force. We should go in with uh, either Regilecki or Incineroar. I'm kind of leaning towards Incineroar here. Incineroar could be really nice. Fake out turn one. Kind of get rolling from there. I do like it. Let's go Incineroar here and then bring in Shadow Rider, Calyrex. And last but not least, do we want to go Dialga? We could go Dialga for late game. It's not too bad. Resist a decent amount. So, you know, let's rock in with them. Let's lock them in. Let's lock them down and look to grab ourselves another perfect record. Come on, yo. I want this. I want this so bad, but... You guys know when I'm when I'm up two and zero, I'm hopping in third and final battle. I just like to have fun in this one because we are gu guaranteed ourselves a winning record. So we just get to like hang out here, play a little bit of Pokemon, talk to you guys, just enjoy the third battle. Third battles are made for enjoyment. Unless you know you're zero and two, then you have to win that battle. <laughs> then you have to win that battle. But uh, let's see who this guy leads. Let's see who this guy's leading. We just been playing really really solid with this popping trick rooms. Azumarill has been thriving. Azumarill has been so good. Azumarill has been so good. Really, really good. I'm glad I got to show him off. But he's going to end up leading Whimsicott. Let's have a Venusaur. So if I had to guess the Sunny Day is going to roll, I'm just going to fake out that Pokemon. And uh, Dynamax by Lando, right? Dynamax Lando, roll off from there. Sounds spiffy. Sounds real spiffy. But what's going to be the play? Oh, we could. Ooh, what do I do? I could fake out the Venusaur. I really don't want him to put me to sleep here. I really don't want him to put me to sleep. But I have to go into like a Quake or something, right? Yeah, I'm just going to Quake into the Venusaur and fake you out. Make out the lovely little whims caught. Because, you know, like I said, this thing's ready just to pop sun. This thing's ready just to go into a sunny day and roll off from there, right? So we're going to Dynamax our Sheer Force boy, and we're going to get rolling from here. If he doesn't Dynamax Venus right here, we could be sitting in such a good spot. Because we could potentially take this thing out with Life Orb and Sheer Force. It just does a ridiculous amount of damage. And it's really, really good all around. So, here we go. Dynamax in this Lando. And like I said, I said it in the beginning. This Pokemon's really good in Dynamax form. Really, really good. The only thing I'm scared of is that Venusaur may put me to sleep, but he's just gonna Dynamax, and that's a problem. That's a problem. Huge problem. Venusaur is so strong. But at least we'll be able to get off this uh, fake out and roll out from here. And roll out from here. Well, let's see how, how he plays this one, because I'm starting to think of the next turn. I might have to max guard my Landorus and then go into a Flutter Blitz to finish this thing off. Because you guys know, G Max and Venusaur are such a pain, dude. Super, super strong. Super, super strong. Fake out comes out from my lovely little Incineroar. I'm gonna say, Ayo, slow down that sun or whatever you're doing the Tailwind. And we're gonna send this max quick this way and get ourselves a nice lovely special defense boost up against two special attackers that's huge quick blaster here getting off some big damage we love it we love it we love it we love it but let's see which uh what this guy goes into maybe a vine last year could be could be let's see max quakes gonna fly through here is that going after incineroar yo leave my incineroar alone leave my incineroar alone how dare you he gets a special defense boost that's fine that's cool that's i right. fine with that i'm fine with that you know what I might do? I might drop a rock. I might drop a rock. Because I'm predicting the sunny day coming out here, right? I'm just going to drop a rock. I could parting shot here, too. But I think I'm just going to fire butts. I'm just going to fire butts. I'm not dealing with this. I'm predicting the sunny day come out here. So if sunny day comes out here, we're just going to switch up the weather instantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to play games with me? You want to play games with me? <laughs> you want to play games with me? I'm switching the weather. I'm switching it. I'm switching. He's going to get off another Max Quake, and that's going to say bye-bye to my Incineroar. Incineroar drops out here, right? Actually, he should be able to eat. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Incineroar eats, and then my berry is going to pop here. My berry's popping. He's getting special defense boost. That's fine. We're going to change up weather again. We're going to not allow him to have all this weather control. <laughs> We're not allowing it. It's not happening. We'll play this one slow all day, and we might be able to eat up another Max Quake. We might be able to do that. But he's just boosting his special defense, which is totally fine because, you know, Incineroar is going to be able to come out here and take out, or not take out, uh, deal some big damage to this, uh, this Venusaur because it's a physical attack and he's just boosting special defense. But we change up weather and we might be able to take out Wimscott with Buffets here, which is huge, but still, yo, big damage coming in hot. If I didn't change up weather there, we could have been thriving. We could have been thriving. That thing would have went down, but Wimscott is going to survive by the Buffets. And at this point, what do I do? I think I'm just going to max guard this thing. Just so he's not allowed to actually, uh, just so he's not allowed to, uh, get off G-Max Vine Lash, 
I, that's really a pain, so I'm not going to deal with that. And I'm just going to go into a parting shot. Just so I have my boy for the back. We know he has Zassi. If I can have this guy for the back end, this could be really, really good for us. We're going to try to. I'm, I probably should have hard swap, but we're going to max guard here. That's how I play all day. And this thing's just going to go for a Tailwind now. And set up a Tailwind. He's going to die out there. And I think he wants to set up Divine Lash, right? Is that his plan? Oh, no. He goes into Incineroar with this? Wow, dude. This guy's just targeting down Incineroar. Wow. Okay. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. I don't think he read my max guard. I just think he's just been targeting down Incineroar all day. But that happens. No more weather for him, which is good. And Divine Lash is going to be able to chip up on us, which is a little rough. We could have got off another turn and maybe got a stat boost, but... It'd be like that. It'd be like that. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. We're going to bring in uh, Shadow Rider Kylox in his back end here just so we can outspeed pretty much most Pokemon and go from there and then save Diago for the back because Diago could be really, really good late game. But he's going to send out the Kyogre. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Unless it's Choice. We, we do not like it if it's Choice. If it's Choice, we do not like it. That'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. Be a huge problem. But although they are Tailwind, that's tough news. Oh, God. This is scary. This is real scary. This is real scary. The Tailwind can do me dirty here. The Tailwind can definitely do me dirty. This is scary. Yo. Kyogre coming in at a money time. A money time. And what do I have to do from here? Maybe just use my Focus Ash here. Protect you. And go into an Astral Barrage? Yeah. We're going to have to use our Focus Ash here. We know the Water Spout's flying. We know he's coming up big with that. That's scary, dude. That is scary. We protect our Lando. Let's get rocking with it. Lando with the protect. Somebody go after Lando. Venusaur maybe something. Water Spout comes in hot. We just don't want that Venusaur doubling down the Shadow Rider. That, that'd be like our only bad play. But what's called might be able to outspeed him. Calyx might be able to outspeed that Venusaur, which would be lovely. Go ahead, Calyx. Do it. Sleep Powder comes in hot. <laughs> no, dude. Puts me to sleep. God dang, dude. Puts me to sleep, and that's now Now we're sitting in such a bad position. This thing could just water spout, get after it that way, and Vine Lash is going to chip me up. Come on, man. Let me get off my Astral Barrage. Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, what's our play here? We do have safety goggles. We do have safety goggles. We might have to pop a trick room. I think we have to pop a trick room here. I think we have to pop a trick room here, right? I think we have to pop a trick room. I think we have to pop a trick room. That's tough. And maybe try to land and double protect. If not, Water Spout KOs us, right? We have to we have to go for a Double Protect. There's no ants if your butts about it. We have to land a Double Protect, and we have to get off a Trick Room if we want to win this battle. Land it, Lando. Step one in process. You have to land this Protect. You have to land this Protect. I haven't landed Double Protect in a while. He lands it. Let's go. Let's go. He lands it. He's going to go for a Water Spout. Dialga should be able to soak this up. Good bit. Good bit, right, Dialga? All you. Yes. Go for sleep powder, please, because we're safety goggles. That'll be lovely. Sleep powder. Let's go. We have safety goggles. And Trick Room is out and about. We came to play. We came to play. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Came to play. We came to play. Vine Lash is chipping up. That's scary. But, uh, how should I play this one? Ah, I hate this game. I hate this game a lot. I really don't like this game one bit. Grass not can come in hot. We're gonna, we we got to go for grass. Grass not. And, uh... What do we do? Did we lead that Venusaur on the field? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? I think we just go into an Earth Power. I'll take out the Venusaur. Yaga's gonna go. We're gonna say bye bye to Venusaur. Get rid of that Pokemon. Oh my god, this battle's too close. Oh, it's too close. Too close. Grass Knot, I need you doing some big old damage here. How much damage are you really going to do, Grass Knot? We're sending it your way. Uh, that's about half. That's about half. And I think What's Call goes down here to this Origin Pulse. Yeah. Maybe both of us. That's scary. Ease us up, Dialga. Stay in the battle a little bit longer. Nope. Nope. I knew Lando was dead, but Dialga goes down as well. Solid battle. Kyogre comes in here and just does his dirty. Kyogre really just countered up on us. Gave him the win, and we go 2-1 for today's video. What a solid set of battles for today's video. I ended up going 2-1 and, and grabbing you guys another winning record for the Genes community.
I like this team a lot. I thought I had a uh, thought I played pretty well with this team. We had the Calyrex and the Dialga combo. Dialga went into the Trick Room, and we got a Zoom Roll out and rolling in with that. And then we also had the Sheer Force Landers, who did pretty solid today. Did pretty solid in the back end for the third and final battle. It's just we got outplayed by the Kyogre. Kyogre came in there, shot us up, used Water Spouts, Orange Pulse, and just dumped on the rest of my team. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next. Peace out, everybody.